In this episode, we tackle a commonly asked question, which is, what is the effect of weight training on hair loss? Stick around and we'll unpack that. Welcome to The Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Back to the Hair Loss Show, episode number seventy-two. Uh, thanks again very much for for watching. Please keep your comments coming, and uh, please uh, remember to to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any other suggestions for uh, topics that you'd like us to cover, please leave that in the in the comments section. So in today's uh, episode, we want to talk about. The effect of weight training. A lot of people are concerned about this. Just to recap real quickly, uh, we know that testosterone gets converted into dihydrotestosterone and if you've got a lot of dihydrotestosterone at the follicular level and more specifically if you've got the gene for hair loss it causes the hairs to thin and fall out in a predictable pattern, hence male pattern ha hair loss. So what is the effect of weight training? And the reality is we don't know. All right, there are some people that do a lot of weight training and will lose more hair. And one of the theories to postulate about that is that by doing more uh, weight training, you're stimulating the muscle. By doing that, you're stimulating the production of testosterone. If you have more testosterone, you're driving the equation over from the testosterone to the, to the dihydrotestosterone side. Does that happen at the follicular level? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know, right? There's not a clear-cut way uh, to measure it. But even more importantly there, the issue is that it is not going to cause hair loss in everyone because you need to have the genetics for it. And that's the X factor, so to speak. So not everyone that weight trains will progress in their hair loss. There are some people that will we'll do a lot of weight training and because they have the genetic propensity and potentially the higher levels of DHT, it may aggravate their hair loss. There are people who do no weight training whatsoever and regardless, still lose their hair. So I don't think it is something that I would um, necessarily make a decision based on should I weight train or not, but just be mindful of that. and. Um, Again, speak to your prescribing physician about it because it may well be that, yeah, it's fine. Do your weight training, but you know, you may need to be on a small dose of finasteride to regardless, not even combat it, but just regardless of, uh, of, of what, it, what you're doing at the gym to try and stabilize the system, lower those levels of uh, DHT in the system. I hope that answers your question. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>